Perhaps you're one of those unfortunates whose ex-partner's lying about them to the law. Your ex wants the kids and your money and just wants you out of the way. Don't be an accomplice in this. Don't let lies or injustice or appalling unfairness cause you to take your own life. In the face of such things, teach integrity, dignity and self-respect by being a living example of these things, no matter how others behave. If you're the idealistic or sensitive type, the ways of the world grates on you. But nothing is perfect, so the world can't be perfectly horrible all the time. We need to find whatever is good in life, where we can and when we can, and help make it grow. A better society will only happen when enough of those sensitive to a better way contribute to making it happen. Some are born with an inner calling to bring forward something new. The challenges in responding to an inner calling are much more difficult than just leading a normal life. Rather than face those challenges, some go into hiding in the basement of their house or the basement of their head. But as they discover how to express what is trying to emerge through them, many of the so-called personal problems just fade away. Maybe you feel that nobody understands you, but do you really understand yourself? Feeling understood feels good, but so does making the effort to understand someone else. Perhaps you feel great pain, but how much of that pain is really necessary? Sometimes we can just drop pain by deciding to do exactly that. Wanting others to change can be impossibly painful. Changing ourselves can still be painful, but at least it's possible. Some of us despair about ourselves and what we have become compared to how we would like to be. This inner conflict becomes a war where we use weapons of self-judgment and self-condemnation against ourselves. First thing to do is to end the war inside, declare peace and become a friend to yourself. Then you'll have a much better chance of becoming a friend to someone else and living a good life. 